Hi, I'm Sandra. In this tutorial, I will show you how to integrate the CA Mobile SDK into an Android application. In order to integrate the Mobile SDK into an application, you will need Android Studio installed and have the Mobile SDK available. Ask your administrator to export the Mobile Single Sign-On configuration from the MAS server you plan to use. First, we will start with a new Android application. Open Android Studio and select Start a New Android Studio Project. In the New Project Wizard, set the application name and company domain. I will call mine Mass Sample and Mass.ca.com. Click Next. In the Target Android Devices dialog, since our focus will be on mobile phones, select Phone and Tablet App and set the minimum SDK to 19 Android KitKat. Click Next. In the Add an Activity to Mobile dialog, select the blank activity and click Next. In the Customize the Activity dialog, leave the activity name as Main Activity and leave Activity Main as the layout name. Click Finish. We will now add the mobile SDK libraries into the application. In a terminal window, Unzip the mobile SDK and extract the Android archive files inside. In the project location, create a libs directory in the app folder. Add the mass, mag, and UI Android archives into this directory. Return to Android Studio. In order to use the mobile SDK, we must update the module to include the libraries. Select the build.gradle for the module and double click to open this file. Insert a repository section specifying that the Android archives in the application loops directory be included in the compilation. In the Dependencies section, insert dependencies on each of the MAS, Core, and UI Android archives. Insert a dependency on the Spongy Castle Security Library. Insert dependencies on the Android support libraries for user interface. Insert a dependency on the Google Zebra Crossing library for QR codes. For compatibility with the mobile SDK, verify that the minimum SDK version is set to 19. The mobile SDK uses a mobile single sign-on configuration file to start the SDK and to connect to the gateway. Ask your server administrator to generate this file for you. Create an assets directory.
Within this directory, create a file called mssl underscore config.json. Insert the mass server configuration into this new configuration file. The application permissions must be updated next. Select Manifest, then double-click to open the Android Manifest.xml file. Before the application definition, add permissions to access the Internet. Verify that allow backup equals true to allow use of the Android Debug Bridge application to execute this application. We will now modify the main activity to start the mobile SDK. First, expand the Java source code directory and double click on the main activity to open the source. In the main activity on create method, Insert code to initiate the mass start call. Start the application in an emulator. I will use the default Android device Nexus 5. Now you've integrated the mobile SDK into your application. Congratulations! Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed learning about integrating MASS into an application. In the next tutorial you will learn more about MASS authentication.